it's Millie and thank you guys for jumping into the nook. It's time for me to finally finish the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Hi guys, it's Millie and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a really interesting reading vlog. So this is not going to be fully non-spoiler or spoiler, so it's going to be kind of a mix of both, but I will let you guys know. I am planning on finishing the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. So the two books that I still have to finish are Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash, which is the sixth and seventh book. So once I finish these two, I am done with the series officially. Now I have a really long history with the series, so I'm going to put these books down and let you guys know what you're getting into. Okay, so even though I claim that the Throne of Glass series is one of my favorite series of all time, I've never actually finished the series. I know. Uh, how can I claim that it's one of my favorite series when I haven't finished it? Um, and how can I claim that I love Sarah J Maas when I haven't finished her series either? So basically, um, to make a long story short, I was really into reading growing up. I kind of got out of it in high school and in college years, wasn't reading for a long period of time, and then I slowly over time got back into reading. And one of the first series that I picked up when I got back into reading was the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. So I picked up um, Throne of Glass in Barnes & Noble one fateful day and I fell in love with this book and it really really helped prompt the journey to get back into reading and just kind of renew my love for YA fantasy. And I was really obsessed with this series. I read majority of the books multiple times as I was waiting for new ones to pop in and that's how I slowly started to get back into reading. So now that I have been back into reading for several years and I've been part of the booktube community and just the book community in general um, for the last couple of years with everything turning into social media, you know, my preferences for reading have changed, the way I look at books have changed, I am definitely more critical and analytical with how I go about reading and how I go about recommending books for others. So I do think that probably my opinions of the series would be a little bit different if I was reading it brand new now versus when I initially started reading this back in like I want to say 2014. Um, that being said, Warning, this is going to be an extremely biased video because I love this series. It could do no wrong in my heart. I ignore any flaw <laughs> with this series because I just have such an emotional connection to it. It is like a very nostalgic feel to it. I am not going into this reading vlog in a very like critical kind of way of analyzing these books and giving you my thoughts. No, this is going to be more of like an emotional journey as I finally hit the end of this series and just what it means to kind of finally close the chapter <laughs> per se on this part of my life. Um, I have been putting off reading the last book in the series for so many years. Like I think Kingdom of Ash has been out for like at least four years or something like that. And I have put off reading the final book because I just didn't want it to end. And I, I just was panicking and feeling anxious about it ending. Um, and I just didn't want to do that. So instead of going through all of those feelings, I chose to just not read the ending. But, um, you know, I figured it's about time for me to start doing that. So um, last year, I started my process of rereading the Throne of Glass books to kind of prepare myself mentally <laughs> for reading the final book. And so last year, I got through the first five books. And then my goal was to read the sixth and seventh book this year. However, I kept putting it off for one reason or another, and we're in the last two weeks of December. Okay, we're in the last two weeks of 2022, so I can't put this off anymore, and I have to just read the sixth and seventh book. So the first book that I'm gonna be starting off with for this vlog is gonna be Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. <laughs> There's the guy using the leaf blower outside, so I apologize if you guys can hear it in the background. Um, I'm not gonna go into full details of the first five books in this series, well, first five including the novellas, um, just because I, I don't have time to do that for this vlog. Um, I'm assuming the majority of you guys who are here have read this series and are just wanting to see me, I don't know, react and cry at the ending. Um, like the sadist that you all are. And I am going to keep my initial thoughts when I talk about these books in a non-spoiler, and I will let you guys know if I divulge into spoilers. Um, so this one I've only actually read once before when it came out. I think I ended up reading this one, I want to say back in... 2017. Um, it had just come out recently then and I read it for the first time. 
Um, this is the only one that I haven't reread since until now. And so this one is like the most foggy in my head in terms of the details that I remember. Um, and this one's also everybody's least favorite book in the series. <laughs> and the reason why this one is everybody's least favorite is that there is one character that we are introduced to in the beginning of the series, um, Kale Westfall. And he is, objectively speaking, majority of the people in the fandom's least favorite character. He does some things that um, we don't approve of in the beginning of the series. And he has this whole redemption arc. And so he does not appear in the fifth book of the series. He is set to travel to a different country to try to help get an alliance for his queen. Um, and instead, the sixth book is his entire POV as he travels to this other country to get the alliance. And he goes through his whole redemption arc. Um, but we don't get to see any of the other characters from the series in the sixth book. It's just like his separate story. Um, and I think the reason why people are not don't find this book very favorable is because they don't like him as a character they don't like his redemption arc and also because this is a 600 page book um with only really a handful of characters when there's like 20 other characters that we don't see so i understand why people don't like this book as much but i feel like it is crucial for the plot to read this book and i am very kale neutral i don't hate his character he's not one of my favorite by any means but I don't hate him as much as other people do. So nonetheless, I'm still excited to get to this book because I know there's some other female characters that I do love from the series that return in this book. So I am excited to kind of get to it. So I am going to start it over the next couple of days. My goal is to finish this book this week and then read Kingdom of Ash the whole final week of December. Um, this week I am at work and so it's going to be kind of sporadically that I'm able to be reading this one, um, but all next week I am off work and so that gives me good hopes for Kingdom of Ash because that book is almost a thousand pages. So this is supposed to be my easy one <laughs> to start off with. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hello, hello. So I have been reading some more of Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. So um, at this point I'm on page 200 and um, I thought I was going to be a little bit further. I was trying to average about 100 pages a day um, and so I was, I, f I was figuring that I was going to be roughly around four to 500 pages and I'm only on page 200 but it is what it is. Um, I was having such a difficult time getting into this book the first three days. Like I was forcing myself to pick it up and it had nothing to do with the book. It had nothing to do with like my feelings for Sarah J Maas writing is different now or like I'm not vibing with the story anymore. Nothing like that. It's just I was still um, working this week for the first half and so I would come home from work and I was tired and usually when I come home from work I listen to audiobooks um, because I tend to be tired and I just want to like de-stress and so I just do something um, really easy around the house and listen to audiobooks. Um, but picking up a, a fantasy book, I was just not in the mood for it. And I was really forcing myself to be like, no, you have to read this book. You have to get started with this video <laughs> and read this book so you have something to talk to the people about. Um, so I did make it to 200. Now that I have finally made it to page 200, I am more intrigued. I'm more into the book. I've, it, it was just like a little bit of a, not a learning curve necessarily, but I just needed to pass that hurdle of getting back into this world because it has been over a year since I've been in this world. And so, yeah, it, it took some time to kind of get back into it. But once I was in it, it did feel really familiar. Um, there's just something about Sarah J. Mass's writing that feels safe. Like it, it's not only a nostalgic factor, but it's just like, you know what you're getting into and it just feels really familiar and safe and I it's just like yeah it's like a comfort zone um so I'm not going to talk too much about the details of this book because I don't want to spoil it for you guys um but we are following Kale as he is working with a healer in his whole redemption arc story and then um Captain Nesrin who also came with him to form the alliance she's also trying to make friends with some of the royal siblings to see if she can get some information and both Kale and Nesrin are trying to convince the king of this country to help them with their allegiance to their queen um so they're you know tackling it in two different ways and we're getting a lot of like um internal um traumatic healing that is happening both um basically all of the characters have gone through a lot of trauma just because they are in the middle of war 
they're feeling really isolated and separated from the rest of their brethren in this battle. They don't know what's happening back home. They're dealing with a lot of the decisions that they have made and how they kind of want to go moving forward so that they can be happy with their decisions, you know, as people. And Kale is a character who's made a lot of mistakes, especially in the first part of the series, and he's really dealing with that. Um, and there's a lot of self-hatred that he has towards himself because he knows that he isn't proud of the decisions that he made and um, just the position that he's currently in and dealing with all of that and um, Irene, I think that's how you say her name, Irene is the healer that's working with him um, and kind of helping him with his journey and she's such a powerful female character and I honestly, I love the female characters in Sarah J Mass's books. I can't say 100% that I love all the male characters but I love all the female characters. They are just so badass and strong in different ways and she is no exception to the case. Um, so I am enjoying getting back into this world. So I'm definitely going to read some more today. Um, my hope is that I finish this book either right before Christmas or right after Christmas, but basically finish it by the Christmas weekend so that I can really focus on Kingdom of Ash for the whole solid last week of December. Um, so I still have a couple more days to finish this book, but now that I'm getting back into it, I do feel more confident that I can finish it this weekend. So yeah, gonna enjoy it some more today. Hey guys! So I have actually finished Tower of Dawn. Um, so it took me like, I think six days to get through the first 200 pages, which was where I kind of left you guys at last time. Um, and then I finished the rest of it in like two days. So um, it was really smooth sailing from then on. Once I got into the book, it was just like such an easy read. Um, I will say that I think I had the same thoughts when I first read this book. This book does not need to be like 600 pages um, because there's about like 200 pages of filler in here, which, yeah, it's great for character development. But considering that this is kind of like taking away from the main plot of the book, it doesn't need to be 600 pages. And I still stand by the fact that I would have much preferred if this book and the fifth book were combined so that we had like alternate POVs um, and then I would have been okay with like how much of Kale and Nezrin's and Erin's like plots were in this book. So glad I read it, giving it four stars. It was good. It's not my favorite from the series, but I'm glad I read it and it did really help me kind of get back into this world. So I am going to be finally starting Kingdom of Ash today. So I am on babysitting duty today. So I have this gigantic book. This one is almost a thousand pages, like is huge. I am so excited to get to this book now. I know it's going to tear my heart out. I know I'm going to probably cry. I know I'm not going to want it to end. And we're starting off with our main character in a very kind of like dangerous situation and it was like a cliffhanger from the fifth book so I'm really excited to get to this book. Um, I have probably around five more days of the year so my goal is to finish this in December so that's roughly about 200 pages a day. Um, considering how fast I was able to read the majority of the sixth book um, I'm thinking that I can actually finish this so yeah I'm excited to start it. I, I can't wait to see how this goes. Hey guys, so I'm here to give a reading update and we have Mr. Benji here who's going to be joining us. So today is Friday. I have two more days before the end of the year and uh, I'm definitely hitting kind of a slump with reading. I'm just not in the mood for reading um, and I'm just kind of feeling a little bit drained. Um, but I'll give you an update of what I have so far. Okay, so I have started on Kingdom of Ash. I'm at page 200. I'm not going to have a good update with Benji right here. Um, so I'm on page 200. Um, basically, I understand why this book is so long. It's because it's about a thousand pages. It's the end of a series. And so it kind of feels like Avengers Endgame where we have every single character that was ever introduced in any of the previous books in the series that are coming together. And we have all these different POVs. We have people in different parts of the world as they're all battling and so it's really heavy on just like the politics and the war and the battle descriptions and people like searching either for like weapons to help them. They're searching for Aelin who has been captured and is being tortured and imprisoned. 
Um, and so right now there's not a lot going on. Like it's a lot of plot and a lot of moving pieces. Um, I feel like with this book, in the beginning at least so far, we're not getting a lot of like emotional parts or character development. It's just really a lot of setup and just moving all of these different characters into place for all of the battles. So I feel like I'm definitely gonna have a more emotional reaction to like the end of this book. Um, but so far right now, it's like just, you know, so-so. And I'm kind of pushing myself to start reading this book because I have two days to finish it and I'm only on page 200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down to do a reading sprint. So I'm going to sit down for about two hours to try to get through as much as I can. Um, after that, I have to clean my apartment and then I have to edit. I have two videos that I filmed yesterday, so I have to edit them to get them up for the last couple days of the year. Um, and then if I have time, I'll go back to reading some more of this. Um, and then tomorrow, I really only have plans with my mom in the morning, but then the rest of my day is free. And so I'm kind of trying to focus on finishing this book in the next two days. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I'm just feeling kind of just like personally drained and low energy and my allergies have been acting up again for the end of the year. So it's just kind of a very uh, slow end of the year for me. Hey guys, um, so real quick update. So yesterday I ended up reading for like more than the two hours. So in the beginning, the first two hours when I was reading, I was still having a hard time like staying concentrated into the book. But then I finally hit a point where I just got really intrigued by the story and got really into it. And so I just continued reading into the night. So I ended up reading 400 pages yesterday. So I got to page 600 and to part two of the book. I didn't even realize they were split up into parts. And I think there's only two parts, maybe three. I don't know. So um, yeah, last night I got to page 600 and I'm really, really liking it. It's getting good. I think what was probably kind of losing my interest in the beginning is two things. One, a lot of the couples are fighting with each other. So a lot of the couples had like things going on at the end of book five or the end of book six where they just were not in a good place. And so we're starting off book seven with a lot of the couples like fighting with each other or not talking with each other or giving each other the cold shoulder. And it's like, I don't need this kind of drama here. It's we're in war, you know, get over it. We're <laughs> be happy, please. So a lot of the couples have finally started to make up, which is great. Second thing is that because all of the characters were split up and they were all in different locations, um, I didn't realize how much I missed the dynamic of having all of the characters together because their witty banter off each other is hilarious and it's honestly one of my favorite parts of Sarah J Maas books is all of the characters together and their dialogue of them just roasting each other all the time. And so a lot of the characters are finally like getting together now in the middle of the book and so we're seeing their interactions and honestly I miss that so much and so I'm really enjoying it. I have no idea how this book is gonna go now. Like, I thought I knew how it was gonna go, and then Dorian over here is making some questionable decisions, and I am I am so confused. I don't know what's gonna happen with this book. I'm kind of scared. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna read some more today. It's officially the last day of the year, so my goal is to finish the last 450 pages today. Considering I read 400 yesterday, I think I can do it, so... Yeah, let's get to it. Hey guys, so it is officially 10 o'clock on December 31st. We have two more hours left of 2022 and I finally finished Kingdom of Ash. I didn't know if I was gonna do it, but I powered through these last couple of hours and I finished the book and I am so surprised that I did. I, I honestly was not expecting to finish this book because I was taking so long to get to this series, but I did it, I made it right on time too and oh my god I it was really really good I really enjoyed it um I definitely was getting like really emotional during parts but I didn't like you know full-on cry or like you know tear up but like there were certain character deaths that I just oh they hurt they hurt they hurt um and I'm just I'm just so happy that I finished this series and you know what? It feels really fitting that I finished it on the last day of the year because it really feels like I'm ending this chapter of my life and starting it new. And it's been kind of weighing on me that I haven't finished the series yet. And now I have and I can just like, you know, 
have it on my shelves and, and know that I finished it and it's still one of my favorite fantasy series of all times. It's the series that brought me back into reading and I'm so happy it did. I'm just... It's, it's just great. It's such a great feeling to like finish this book. And it's a five stars. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, was it like a really, really long thousand page battle book? Yes. And it's not usually what I gravitate towards that much battle, but it's a five star book. I loved it. I loved every part of it. It was such a good conclusion to the end of the series and oh, I loved it. I loved it so much. Alright guys, I'm not going to diddle daddle any longer. Um, it is the end of the year and I'm really happy that um, you guys have been keeping up with me on this journey, that it's been another year of you guys watching my booktube channel. I really appreciate all of you guys who have been um, subscribers and who comment and who've just been showing their support. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here on such a nice high note. Hopefully you guys have a good year. Um, make good things happen to you guys in 2023. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to give me a likes and thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have read any of the books in this video and what were your thoughts on them. Did this book wreck your heart as much as it wrecked mine? And as always, if you guys are enjoying my bookish videos, please be sure to subscribe for some more. I'm Millie. Thank you guys for jumping into the nook. Bye!